Hello, my dear folks, my dear fellow Americans. Welcome to the show. My name is Jack Chow. You know that, and I'm the uh, proud uh, host、um, of、uh, East West Show、uh, with the GNE TV, which tries to cut quite very much to cover every aspect of life.、Uh, well, every now and then, constantly, on a random basis, whenever there is a chance. We scheduled our beloved leader of the community, representing the 32nd district of California, congressional district of California,、uh, Honorable Grace F. Flores, Napoli <laughs> Town. Oh, thank you, Jack. Come here to share her update, congressional update, with our audience. It's to her I give you a very warm welcome. Thank you so very much, and I really thank you. For allowing us to come and be、uh, on the show to、uh, inform and educate the public, but I congratulate you and、uh, your staff and everybody for all the growth that you've had, amazingly, and the fact that you continue to outreach to inform and educate the public. That's public service as is best. Thank you thank so much. Thank you, thank you very so much for having recognized that.、Uh, well, you know what? Sometimes you feel flattered when you have a confirmation. Of that level, of that kind, in that kind of language. So once again, thank you very much. We know that we all stick to our democracy. The nature of democracy is to make sure that you are represented. Your ideas, your concept, your voices are represented. To represent the district of thirty second district of、uh, in California, we have a, a long time outstanding member, Napolitano, working on that. And also, in addition to being a Congress,、uh, sim, sim, I mean, simple Congress member, she holds many high-ranking positions in lots of communities. I mean, committees. If you allow me, I will let my audience know that. Thank you, Jack. Those are the basic, right? She holds high-ranking committee、uh, position of the Committee of Natural Resources, which、uh, governs the natural、uh, park. Uh, public land、mm-hmm. and the floor. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in forests, right?、Correct. And also, she holds a very high-ranking, important position in the committee of transportation, congressional committee of transportation, of、uh, highway, uh, of uh, transit, and of、uh, railroad pipelines, and also hazardous. Products and、Correct. productions, right? Speaking of that, you know, with the, what happens in China, in Tianjin, we will、we'll、really have to to talk a bit about it, right? Okay. okay. And in addition, she is also、uh, important member, very active member, super active member on many caucus positions.、Right? One of which is the Hispanic caucus,、uh, Hispanic caucus, and the other is the mental health caucus,、Correct. which is so important issue. And、uh, wildfire、uh, caucus and the international uh, uh, relation caucus, many of those. So, how many hours do you have one day? Twenty-four <laughs> or forty-eight? <laughs> well, I very seldom get to the office. I'm always in a meeting or going、uh, to hear briefings or being able to be on the floor to vote. Yeah, yeah. So it depends on what's on schedule. But essentially, there's、mm. just not enough time in the day to really sit and absorb everything. That's why it's so important yeah, that yeah, you yeah, give yeah. air to get people to comment back to、mm. us how they feel about what we're sure, trying to sure, do. Sure. The way I want to describe it may be too much re-、uh, rhetorical, rather than by 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 practice. I see some of other elected officials they run a time of running, right? And I see different kind of officials. They run. They are on the run every day. Correct. They run about for their issues. So I believe that I'm so glad that I end with somebody who belongs to the latter <laughs> <laughs> instead of farmer. Right. First of all, I would like to start the whole thing by asking an opportunity to update a little bit about、uh, what's happening at、uh, Congress, please. Well, there's the issue of the budget. There's the issue of the transportation six-year bill. There is the issue of immigration, deportations, etc. There's、mm-hmm. the issue of education, of、uh, helping students be able to be、uh, debt-free or at least、uh, no cost,、uh, no interest, or low interest loans、mm-hmm. for them.、Um, the, but more importantly, right now, I think is the issue of water. That I think、uh, other、okay. other areas,、uh, especially central、mm-hmm. and The eastern part of the states are beginning to feel sure, what sure, people don't.、Yeah. Some my colleagues don't want to realize is climate yeah, change. Yeah, sure, sure. 
we lay down about all the important issues right now being discussed or negotiated or dealt with uh, at Congress, uh, congressional level, and then we'll move to them one by one, shall we please? Yeah. Correct. How about, uh, you mentioned immigration, you mentioned about, uh, uh, how about election? Is there any preparation or movement towards election? There is a lot of rhetoric about who the candidates are and what they mm. stand for. Uh -huh. And as you've seen, you have a major candidate who's anti-immigrant, or at least, though he professes not to be, his rhetoric is, is uh, speaking otherwise. And if he uh, uh, criticizes and uh, talks badly about Hispanic minorities, what about the other minorities? How does he feel about them? Yeah, okay. So d to me, it's, it's not what you say, it's uh, how do you think you're going to improve mm -hmm. the U.S. economy? How are you going to improve small business? Uh, services to the seniors, are you uh, going to ensure that we don't have poverty, that we don't have homelessness, or veterans not uh, being able to access services. Uh, it, it's, it comes from the top, but necessarily you have to be able to understand how it runs to be able to make, affect those changes. And right now, uh, it, it's not happening. Uh, there's a lot of infighting in Washington. Uh, my Republican colleagues are having to deal with the Tea Party. Mm -hmm. So right. they're not able to get to a consensus on some of the things they want to move forward mm -hmm. with. Um, and sequester may come up again. We're hoping not. We're mm -hmm. saying that we're not going to. Um, but transportation, the six-year bill, we're, we're yeah, they, yeah. They, they, the chair, full chair, Mr. Uh -huh. Schuster, is working with our ranking member, DeFazio. Sure, sure. But we don't know if we'll be able to pass that six-year mm -hmm. bill. Mm -hmm. uh, the Senate's passed it, but Republicans are saying they're not going to go with a six-year bill. So we'll so, go back to the six-year bill. I really have that on my on my agenda to mm -hmm. ask you mm -hmm. to check with it. We'll give it at least a five minutes of worth of time to talk about it. And uh, by touching base though, I also want to mean something like uh, to the international front, right? And nowadays I, we see two major issues. One is the uh, U.S. Iranian deal. Correct. And the other is the Cuban embassies, right? What's the kind of uh, Dynamics? Among the folks, among the folks in the uh, in the House or the Senate. Well, my uh, um, uh, Cuban and Puerto Rican colleagues uh, are, are against the Cuba issue, uh, opening it up because they don't feel that that Cuba has done enough for human rights mm -hmm. and for opening uh, uh, for the scrutiny that the U.S. wants. Mm -hmm. um, we feel uh, generally, I think they've done a lot so far. Mm -hmm. Whether it's enough, I don't know. I don't deal with the issue. Mm -hmm. But I think it benefits U.S. companies to be able to have uh, import-export uh, sure, fac sure. facilities. Mm -hmm. Not only will it help the Cuban people, but will make them understand the free enterprise that we deal with. Insofar as Iran, mm -hmm. uh, I've been approached by leadership and others mm -hmm. because I'm not in favor of that deal. number of reasons, Jack. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Partly is that I don't trust Iranians. I don't trust, uh, they lie a lot. They, they, you just can't count on them mm -hmm. being transparent and truthful uh, right. in their intelligence. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, their 15 year agreement, uh, it ends, we're gonna have to restart the deal as soon as this one's done for the next 15 years. Mm -hmm. um, you're giving them 28 days to be able to, to s uh, go visit on site mm -hmm. uh, our, our folks that look at uh, um, the mm -hmm. development of uranium. Uh, to me, why not immediate? Why not transparency? If they, they have nothing to hide, then why do we have a 28-day? Yeah, 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 yeah. um, and uh, there's, I don't sit on intelligence. I don't get the super mm -hmm. high briefings. Mm -hmm. I read probably more in the newspapers mm -hmm. than I do when we get briefings from Secretary right, Kerry and others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? Uh, so it, it, it leaves a lot to be desired. Mm -hmm. I have a response from my district of almost 50-50, in favor 54. Uh, mm. But knowing what I know, I would tend to err on the fact that we need to protect ourselves. Mm. They say that this is the only agreement that can be made now. Mm. Um, I don't think that's totally true, so I'm not sure uh, why uh, they're, they're, they're saying this, because there's, mm. there's a, uh, other um, areas that are not covered. Mm. So. I, by the way, Congresswoman Napoli Tano, really appreciate your frankness and you dare say what you like, what you dislike. Even though the uh, Iranian deal issue has passed by minority, by minor, by, by majority, mm -hmm. and you're still saying that, he, well, you have a strong reason not to trust, right? That represents, that might represent lots of folks out there you never know. Mm -hmm. And on the, uh, 
on the Brazilian issue, I mean, on the Cuba. uh, Cuban issue, though, that's really positive to, to the United States economy, uh, if not mutually. Correct. Am I right? Okay, very well, good. Well, and it carries other, other uh, uh, um, uh, unintended consequences or intended consequences, mm -hmm. and then letting the Cuban people know that we care and that we so, do have yeah, a lot exactly. of exiles exactly. in our country that would love to go back and visit with their families. It's quite a simple to me, and uh, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, right? So every country, every, every nation has its own system, has its own law, own believing, whatsoever, just like your food choice, right? Correct. For, for example, if I say, I don't get along with the people who eat porks. <laughs> yes, correct. So it's as stupid as that, right? As long as uh, you don't create wars, you don't cheat. Allow me to do what allow I me to do something, correct. whatever, like correct. that kind, right? I like that positive thinking, and uh, that thinking represented by uh, a leader, beloved leader that I adore so much. Uh, thanks for her leadership of the 32nd District, Congressional District of California. We're going on a very healthy way. And we will go, we're going we're gonna to prove how healthy we are when we come back. So with the Congresswoman Grace Napolitano, we're having the, uh, the pleasure of going forward to dig into more in information for our dear audience. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>